you're outside here at luxury auto collection let's go inside and check out what they have in store i got two cars i'm looking at you're going to want to see these two We're at Luxury Auto Collections and look at the freaking lineup that they have in this, in this showroom. All of these, including a nice Chevy truck here, slammed with beautiful patina. My eye is going to this, but today we're here to check out two specific cars. Uh, we're gonna start with this 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. This bad boy was one of the ones that I'm looking at possibly adding. The paddles feel really good on this car. They're actually nice and thick. They actually got a really good feel to them. Something that was a little off with the NSX was the paddles. They felt very plastic. You can tell you these have a definitely better feel to them. And even though they're not attached to the steering wheel, because of their size, as you go around the turns, you're gonna still be able to catch any edge of that paddle. Shall we move on to the next car? All right, here we are, the second car I'm checking out today. This is a 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. Now, what's crazy about, you know, this car and that Huracan we just checked out was they both use the same 5.2 V10 motor and yeah, they just look great. I think, honestly, R8s present the motor better than the Huracans do, but you can't deny that this thing is a stunning machine in all silver. There's gray, it's like a matte gray, it's beautiful. You know, there's one thing I wasn't too keen on in this particular car was this red interior. But honestly, with the way that the interior looks here with the little black accents and as gray as this car is, it's not so much that it would turn you off to the color of it because I, it, it accents it very, very well. Look at this interior, very nice. You know, the interior of the Huracan honestly didn't feel nearly as nice as what this does. And it's kind of surprising considering the Huracan's an extra, what, 40, 50 grand from this. You know, the roominess in here is quite impressive. If you see my head here, there's a lot of room. So if those of you that want to take a car like this to the track, you have room for a helmet. It's amazing. Well, the headliner is this beautiful quilted stitch here and it's a nice Alcantara. It's very nice and it comes down to the eight pillars. You know what? I love the view out of the front of this. You can see so well. And behind you, you got a nice window that you can definitely see as well. Beautiful. Listen to this thing. Yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth, let's test drive this beautiful 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. I'm pretty excited, let's hop in here, kind of look at the screen a little bit, oh I hit the corner of the seat. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, but yeah, here we are with the uh, 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. This fine gentleman right here, Travis. Great How's sales guy. Guys? Yep, he's gonna show us around, or actually let me drive this bad boy out here and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, so, okay. so you can change your drive select and your, there you go. Goes it into comfort, dynamic. Okay. If you do have it in auto, it's gonna automatically adjust for you at all times. Individual you can program it and tune it yourself. Very similar to like an M Sport or an M3. Yep, gotta get used to that. Very touchy brakes, that's a good thing. Oh yeah. I don't hate that at all. Oh, there we go. All right, now I see where your sweet spot is. Make a left? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, I love the pop. <laughs> this thing sounds absolutely freaking incredible. Uh, right now the brakes, <laughs> I talk about it on bikes all the time. I love the bite of them. This car has insane bite when you just lightly tap the brakes. Something to obviously get used to, but man, that's stuff that I love because I know that I can blast into a corner 
and it'll be perfect. Oh, the noise, ladies and gentlemen, that V10. You know, I sat in the Huracan and immediately was not a fan of it. It's the way that it felt, didn't it hug me right. This car, yeah, this car feels very good. Oh, it's all throttle pops. The way this thing shifts, the down shifts as much as I don't want to go crazy with it right now. But that's six to seven. Super smooth. The camera didn't even move during that, so you can tell how just beautifully smooth this transmission is when you shift it. Right. And I'm also in manual because you know I'm used to driving a manual car, and well, why wouldn't I want to play with the paddle shift? There's the whole point. It's what these little game paddles are for. That's right. Look at the carbon fiber, the vents. It's got little touches in this car that are freaking beautiful. They are. You know, like I said earlier in my video, the red almost turned me off in the pictures because it just seemed like it was so much, like it was so bright. But once you're in here, you know, obviously the red seats are behind you so you don't see them. Then you have just the little red accents, the doors and the center console. It's very understated. It's very, it's very nice touches when everything's behind you or under you. And it helps too that you have Alcantara suede accents all the way throughout the car. Yep. The, the stitching. Oh man, the stitching. You know, for the for the passenger, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tight. Yes, it's a little bit close to you right here. But again, when it comes down to it, this car is mainly designed for the cockpit of the driver. I, I agree. Everything is right at your fingertips. Everything is right in front of you that you want to see. Uh, I mean, I have this Sirius XM preview. It's blocking most of it. But you know, you have your speed and your tack on either side, and they're very easy to read, even though they're smaller. You can see the nav on the top right, left, right there. And he can completely change that whole screen and it can do anything and everything that he wants. Yeah, the electronics that Audi has are second to none. Their nav system's amazing. The quickness of the screens, the change is really great. The responsiveness of it, I guess. You know, their electronics have come and blown most of the other brands out of the water with how great and how integrated everything is. And just to add to that, you know, that's why all the Lamborghinis, they're all their electronics and info systems are pretty much Audi too. This is Audi? It, Audi does Audi better. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, there we go. This brakes. Like I've said before with bikes, brakes are like, you either love them or hate them. I love these freaking brakes. To me, that's like the pinnacle of whether or not a car is going to save you or hurt you. And because this thing will slow down and put your eyes into the windshield. Oh man, I love it. And now a little. Gotta love Lexus. when we get behind an old Lexus. You know it's you know it's the person that's probably in the radius because it's gold. Exactly. <laughs> 
Well, this ends our day here at Luxury Auto Collection. I tell you what, what an amazing, amazing place to go to. Their showroom's gorgeous. Everybody in there is super nice and knowledgeable of the vehicles. Travis, you're awesome. Thank you so much for showing me the R8 and all the little quirks about it. I had a blast driving it. It really gives me something to think about. You know, I sat in that Huracan and right off the bat, I was not a fan. And I knew that that car was not for me. So we'll see what this R8 comes and hopefully we'll see it in the future. With that, y'all have a good one. I'm out.